the more experiences you provide in a real world environment, the more successful your students will be, the more desirable they will be. It's about giving students an opportunity to understand why they do what they do. In that time, they've grown as a person. You see people that are confident before they ever leave here. What we're really aiming here for in the end is taking the entire experience that they need in life and creating that here at Stevens. Bringing innovation into the classroom is part of our DNA. Being across the river from New York City presents a, a host of opportunities to show how academic material can come alive. They tend to be very creative. They're very motivated. Untapped. They're very entrepreneurial. Stevens students are extremely bright. They are academically focused. Hardworking. They're disciplined, they're ambitious, and they are very idealistic. If, if I'm not challenged, uh, I ask myself why bother. You find that everyone's thinking on that same kind of high level and they all want to get to that next level in life. We feel that innovation really is at the heart of what we need to do. One cannot be properly innovative without knowing what it means to be creative. For us to be at the forefront, at that precipice of this is where technology is starting and the sky's the limit with it. They're used to hard work and uh, they look for opportunities. Our alumni from the beginning really set the foundation of our athletics program. And what we've been able to do is establish new history and new tradition. We were named the ECAC Institution of the Year, and it goes to the top overall institution that best combines academics and athletics. It teaches student athletes things that they can't necessarily get in the classroom. Being a student athlete will help you mature as an adult with the wins and losses, with being part of a team. I think it really prepares you for what life's going to bring you. The broad-based education, the rigor, has forced the student to learn how to manage their time. And so they're not struggling to deal with the rigors of their job. They've done that. Because if they want to have a life at Stevens, want to participate in sports, they want to join clubs, they want to be in theater, you've got to manage your time. You would think that the students come here exclusively to study engineering and science, but it's not the case. They come here to learn about themselves just as much. What's very important to us is hands-on learning. Um, engineers and scientists have to spend a lot of time in the classroom learning theory, but that's not enough. You can't just learn textbook stuff and, and not actually understand what you're doing with these formulas. They really need to put that theory into practice, and consequently we need facilities on campus that allow our students to do that. I wanted to welcome you to the Davidson Laboratory. Uh, the laboratory has been used for thousands of tests to design high-speed small craft, experiments for the Apollo Space Shuttle, uh, seaplanes, anything you can imagine that ends up in the water. Another facility that we have is our advanced microscope facility, which is a world-class facility who just recently received a multi-million dollar grant from the National Science Foundation. The other major facility that we have is Micro Device Laboratory, also called the Clean Room. That is where our various departments who are concerned with nanotechnology actually come in to fabricate devices at the nano scale. Ultimately though, it's about the people. Are they inspirational? Are they knowledgeable? Are they world leaders? One of the things that Stevens can do better than most universities in the world is connect those dots of the practitioners and the classroom. Our goal ultimately is to have this seamless process that they're engaged in learning with what's going on in the world today at the same time that they're being prepared to solve the problems of tomorrow. You know, we're running on, on limited resources and where can, we, where can we find new, hopefully unlimited resources, things like the sun, things like wind, uh, things like in the ebb and flow of water. Uh, how can we use those to our advantage? Students at Stevens feel that they are going to be the ones to make a difference. They're the ones that are going to tackle the really hard problems that our nation and our world face today. In the business world, when you have complex problems, usually they're more cross-functional in nature. 
Solving today's problems and tomorrow's problems requires people that can think creatively and innovate, but not just in a vacuum. We have a very significant co-op program for our undergraduates, and that involves multiple uh, periods spent in industry. It's not just make work or a pair of hands for somebody, it's a you know, real experience. It helps them understand what it's like on the job, and then they can bring that experience back to the classroom. I still was able to get internships and jobs during you know, the 2008 financial crisis, and that really solidified the Stevens education. When they get out into the workforce, the feedback we have is, do you have more of these to send our way? I get that all the time. My roommates will be my next business partners. I would love to say that I helped develop something new that will change the world. There is nothing more satisfying than a student who is realizing their potential. By the time they graduate, they've discovered who they are, what they want to do, where they want to go, and they have the confidence to bring all that to bear in a meaningful way.